Hey, Infinicus here for GameMovers.com, and welcome to my first episode of the Champions Mode on Formula 1 2012. Champions Mode is basically um, six, cha well, seven challenges if you include the final race, but it's six challenges against all six champions that were on this year's grid. So here we have um, Kimi Raikkonen on his returning season to Formula 1 after spending as many as two or three, two or three years in um, Rally. I'm going to be doing it on hard difficulty because, well, on the other difficulties, it's not really challenging. So here we go, onto our loading screen. Which, if any of you can be bothered pausing and um, reading, it basically gives you a quick uh, run over of the modes. Which, to be honest, is kind of handy because at least you know what you're getting yourself into. Actually, season mode. As if you're gonna pause and read it, it's actually really interesting. It's ten races. You have to beat your rivals for their seat and um, just get to the end of the season as a normal season mode would be. Anyway, I hope that this isn't as hard as I have seen it to be. I mean, um, I've done several playthroughs of this and um, it's been fairly difficult at times. Just about to start the final few laps of this thrilling race at Spa is Kimi Raikkonen in a modest seventh position. He's been complaining of tyre trouble all weekend. There goes his teammate in the sister Lotus Renault. He's behind, but on a brand new set of option tyres. I think he might actually work his way up and into the points. And at this rate, challenge Kimi. I think we're in for a dramatic few laps. Anyway, there we go. We have Kimi Raikkonen on, well, worn down tyres, which means he's going to be a lot slower than I am, and I am a good few positions below him with three laps to overtake him. Anyway, coming into the chicane and hit the cage room. Never seemed to be able to do that corner correctly. Anyway, t overtaking the Marussia there, and I will put my fuel up to the fine. That way, I've got a small speed boost to try hopefully overtake a Hogenberg going into the source. Which, well, if anyone actually followed the sport this year, had that huge crash involving um, Roman Grosjean, um, Hamilton, and Fernando Alonso. I mean, to be honest, that was one of the best crashes I've seen in a long time. I'm not trying to sound like a redneck or anything, but it was one hell of a crash. Anyway, we're here on the Campbell Street with DRS um, activated, coming up to Les Combes, which are two. Co well, this whole track I can never get done correctly. Oh, a bit tight spin there. And I keep Kobayashi out, up into 10th. Um, if you can see straight ahead of me, actually going into uh, the Bruxelles corner, you can actually see the star, which is where Kimi Raikkonen is. So I have Rosberg and presumably Felipe Massa in front of me. As we come up to uh, yeah, another corner I cannot do very well here. I mean, it's ridiculous how many corners on this I can't do well. I mean, it, I mean if anything, I just can't do this track. It's such a difficult track. I mean, this, Mon this Monaco and, Sin and Singapore are the three tracks I hate going to because I just can't race on them. I just, I just can't seem to drive fast enough to keep up with, with everyone on this. Anyway, closing in on Rosberg here. I should hopefully be able to. Oh no, no way! I've got him on this corner. So I'm um, coming up to Cob um, to, to Cob Pool Ferre, which I think is something proper pro pool. Or as most people know, that really long straight. I'm catching off Felipe Mazza here and hopefully should be able to take him in this chicane. Well, let's see if I play my cards right, hopefully. And straight past them from Ferrari. I honestly thought I was going to hit him. Taking it a bit wide, but it's all good. Running a bit wide as the engine runs out and ah, surrendered to the position. Uh, sure, I'll get him on, on the next one. I mean, I, I always seem to get overtakes in this one. Perfectly taken. So um, it's got, like a few weeks after, well, a few weeks. No, is that a few weeks? I think it's about a few weeks after the end of the F1 season, which Vettel won for the third season in a row. Just by the skin of his teeth, ousting um, Alonso in the last race after so much controversy. I mean, after the race, there was the whole thing with Ferrari complaining or whinging about the Ill um, said illegal overtake, which we all know did not happen. I mean, um, from video evidence, yeah, it did look like it, but of course, the rev, the rev meter and everything. But, it wasn't, it wasn't even that that, um, that made it suspicious to me. It was just the fact that 
Every single time Ferrari seems to lose by the skin of their teeth, they seem to throw the toys out of their pram. I mean, they did the exact same thing in 2008 when Hamilton won, this, won on the last corner. Did they complain and said that Glock let him through? When they've got the when they, when they've got to realise that Glock had um, slicks um, 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 slick tyres for wet weather, which isn't going to work. Hence why he slipped. Anyway, as you can see here, I'm going to move away from from that ramp because I could be ranting all day. I mean. Uh, Anyway, we're catching up on Raikkonen here, and we've got the long straight, which we should be able to catch him if I keep in the slipstream. Although I think I'm far too far away to actually benefit from that, so it's going to be like a last lap overtake somehow. Well, unless I'm able to overtake him or it here. And as you can see, there's the gold medal next to his name, which means that's what I'll get for, and I pass him here. Can I? Just keep my line, make damn well sure I don't run right and surrender the, the, the position. And no, kept it and lapping the other Mauricio. So that should be hope so that should hopefully be the um this race sorted for me. I just have to bring the car home, so to say. I mean I've got the fastest lap and if I'm lucky I could catch Schumacher. I mean lucky is a very, very, very loose turn to put because we know the AI hardly crashes in this. I mean, that's one thing. Uh, that's one thing Codemasters need to actually correct about this game is the fact that the AI always seem to be absolutely perfect in driving. I mean, they're not prone to crashes, not prone to accidents. Which, well, we know in real life it happens. I mean, look at Pastor Maldonado. He crashed, I think, every single race. <laughs> Roman Grosjean. I think out of 20 races, he had 14 first corner incidents, including the one here, which obviously led him to have the first ra um, um, the first time someone got banned for a race in about 18 years, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. And, ah, there we go. Every race, every race I will um, I'll pull that corner wide. Anyway, um, going back to um, driver mistakes in this, yeah, I mean, they don't really make mistakes, which is really, really annoying because, you know, as you can see here, I'm making mistakes left, right and centre, and I'm being penalised like hell for it. I mean, even like, I mean, even being penalised, I mean, it, um, I mean, if, I mean, like, we all know that the AI are programmed to be like the drivers, and the drivers aren't that perfect, case in point, Maldonado and Rojan. So anyway, um, we're coming into the final chicane, which I'm finally going to take perfectly because I'm not overtaking anyone. And um, this should be a gold. Well, it will be a gold because I've completed a challenge. And there you go, that's my real name. I'm going to get a lot of stalkers for this, aren't I? Anyway, 7th place, I gained 6 positions, I got the fastest lap, as we can see here. Finishing ahead of Kimi Raikkonen. His warm tyres started to cause him issues with grip and performance. His Lotus teammate was able to take advantage and beat him to the finish line. Anyway, that is all, guys. Um, I'm going to say thanks for watching and tune in for episode two, where I will be taking on Lewis Hamilton in the wet weather in Interlagos, Brazil. There's my gold medal. I've been a fan of the game rules. Thanks for watching.